Hello everyone. Welcome back to Rizat Graphics. In this short After Effects tutorial, I am going to show you how you can create this 3D cube animation step by step. After watching this video you'll be able to create your own 3D cube animation. This is 100% editable. You can add the text, images and videos to this 3D cube. You can add it to any corner of your videos. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe and press the bell icon to get notifications. This is a short and easy tutorial. So, watch this tutorial till the end. Let's get started. Open Adobe After Effects. Go to the files and import the letters. You can download these letters. The download link is in the description. Now, create a new composition. Rename it. Change the resolution to 500 by 500 pixels. 30 frames per second. And set the duration to 1 minute. We need 5 more compositions similar to this. So, select the composition and press Ctrl plus D to make it duplicate. Open the first composition. Drag the A letter into it like this. Now, open the second composition. Drag the B letter into it. This is 100% editable. So, I recommend you to watch the video till the end. Now, create a new composition. Rename it to 3D Cube or whatever name you give it. Set the resolution to 1920 by 1080 pixels and duration to 10 seconds. Hit OK. Now, select all compositions from top to bottom. Drag and drop to the new composition. Don't forget to turn on the snapping. Now, select composition number 2 and drag it to the right side like this. This is a very simple and easiest method to create a 3D cube. So, watch it closely. Now, right click composition number 3. Go to Transform and select Flip Horizontal. Now, right click on composition number 6. And flip it horizontally. Select all compositions. Enable the 3D. Change the camera view to custom view 1. Select the camera tool. And rotate it like this. Cool. Select the letter B composition. Select the anchor point tool. Move the anchor point to the right side. Now, press the R button on the keyboard to open rotation properties. Change the Y rotation to minus 90 degrees. Cool. Now, Select the letter D composition. Move the anchor point to the left side like this. Change the Y rotation to plus 90 degrees. Let's check it. Perfect. We're almost there. Now, 
Now, select composition number 5, which is the E-letter composition. Move the anchor point, and then, change the X rotation to minus 90 degrees. Select the F letter composition. Move the anchor point. And change the X rotation to minus 90 degrees. Cool. It looks awesome. Let's fix the last composition which is composition number 3. Select the move tool and change the Z position. Perfect. Now, select the all layers. Right click and select pre-compose. Now, enable this option and the 3D option. Right click and create a new camera layer. Now, create a null object layer. And enable the 3D. Let's check this. Whether it's working or not, it's not working. Let's check the 3D cube composition. It's working, but the null object is not working. Let's fix this. Just drag the pick whip to the null layer. Cool. The null object is working now. The rotation is not working as we want. So, let's fix the rotation. Select the 3D cube composition layer. Go to transform. And select the anchor point. Drag the anchor point in the middle of the cube. Let's check it again. Cool. Now, it's working perfectly. I am happy with the results. It's time to animate the cube. Let's reset the values. Add a keyframe at the first frame. Change its rotation after 2 seconds. Add more keyframes with different rotation values. Let me do it faster to save your time. Also, don't forget to easy ease all keyframes. Cool. Looking good to me. Create a new folder. Move all images into the new folder. Let's add the videos to the cube. Go to file and import the short video clips. Select all the video clips and press import. Now, open each composition and add a video. The video is too short. Let's make it loop.
Right click the video. Go to interpret footage and select main. Go to loop and add 25 times. Decrease the scale. Add the remaining videos to the compositions. And repeat the same process. Let's check this. Cool. Our 3D cube is working perfectly. I hope you've learned a lot from this tutorial and that you can apply these skills to your own workflow. I'll see you next time on Rizat Graphics. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to this channel for more tutorials. Good luck.